everybody. We're back here with Gail King, our dear friend from uh, CBS This Morning. You've recently added uh, Biana Goladriga yes. to the team. Now, Biana Goladriga, yes. You've gone yes. from three to, three to four. What's the dynamic now with the... Uh... Well, okay, so it's John Dickerson. Sure, I'm familiar. You, you heard of him? Sure, I know, I know that guy. Yeah. Uh, Biana Goladriga. I like mm -hmm. to say her name like that because mm -hmm. she speaks Russian, which I always get such a kick out of. Mm -hmm. uh, Gail King, that sure. would be me. I am familiar. Nora O'Donnell. Yes. So there's all four of us at the table. Yeah. So I think, you know, there are a lot of people at the table, but because Biana was added and because she's such a delight and she's so good, it just sort of fit in very seamlessly. The same with John Dickerson. You know, first it was, you know, first it, it was Nora and I are the old timers. And now that you know, we've added four, I just think it's expanded to the intelligence and what we do there. How do you, there's a lot of people at the, at the desk though. How, how do you traffic cop that? How do you know who's coming out of one thing and tossing to the next thing and take the next question? Because I'll tell you what I like. I like me. That camera right there. <laughs> no questions who's got the next question. That guy. Who do you, who's well, got the ball next? Well, because sharing is caring, Stephen. Have you heard that? <laughs> yes. You gotta we, be a friend to have a friend. That's right. We all play nicely with each we all play nicely with others. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's some talk some things that people lean in and mm -hmm. some times people lean out. We've mm -hmm. just we're still navigating that. Sure. But I also know that we can do that. And so sure. far, knock on wood, so far, so good. Watch out, because Dickerson you know, will scratch your eyes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's very tough, isn't he? You, he's, uh, he's very smart. He is very sweet, very sweet. You just did an interview that I'd love to do sometime. You talked oh, to the legendary Tina Turner. Yeah. Right there, there's Tina. Guys, right there. Tina there. Turner. She looks amazing. She looks exactly the same. Actually the same. But listen to this. Tina Turner is now 78 years old. In the last cup, in the last... Two, three years, she has had a stroke, she has had vertigo, she has had a kidney transplant that, she, that her husband, who was 16 years younger, uh, gave her a kidney, and her son committed suicide this past July. Not, died by suicide. I, I, I'm told by experts they do not like you to say committed suicide, that you should say died by suicide or took his own life. Because they said, listen, no one ever says committed cancer, so I'm very mindful of that. Mm -hmm. So he took his own life in July. So she has had a lot that has happened to her in the last two or three years. So we went to see her because she has a, her autobiography is coming out, her second one, and she's coming to Broadway. They're going to have a play called Tina Turner the Musical. So we went to Switzerland to talk to her about that. She lives in Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Her guy is, you know, German. Um, they met when she was, you know, 33 and 50. So, you know, it's, they've had an age difference for a long time. She doesn't care about that. And then I said, do you think you'll ever come back to the States because she has a Swiss passport? She said, your country, your country's too mean. I know, I felt, I felt that too. Wow. I went, oh, Tina, that's how you feel. She goes, it's just too mean. She's sitting there watching the political divide in Switzerland. And she said it makes her sad. She's very happy in, in, in Switzerland. So she's not coming back until it's time to promote Tina Turner, the musical. Sure. <laughs> and she'll be back here. And then exactly. she'll be here. And I said, bring your legs with you. Um, uh, on, on Monday, this is uh, exciting, you're being inducted into the Broadcast and Cable Hall of Fame. Yeah. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. How, lo how, how, how long have you been broadcasting? I know. Well... Listen, I had my first job when I was 22. I'm now 63. You know, I've won a couple of awards along the way. I've, I've always really loved this job. So it really is an honor, I have to say. When they first called and said, you know, we're, we'd like to, and I go, are you calling me? I mean, I have to say I was very, very flattered. So Monday's the day, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's giving you the award? <laughs> is that a trick question? Oprah is already in the Hall of Fame award. She's going to give me the award. Oh, that's nice. That's just that's checking. Just checking. That's nice. And, and this is the thing. They didn't tell me they were asking her. They didn't tell me they were asking her. They asked her without telling me, and I said to her something about, you know, Octo October 29th, blah, 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 blah. She said, I'll be in New York. I go, You're, what are you doing in New York? Because I would have never asked her because I know how busy she is. And you know what these dinners are like. It's a black tie dinner. It's very lovely. But it's... I've never been inducted into the Hall of Fame, so I'm sorry. I it's wouldn't very know. lovely, I wouldn't know. but it's a school night, and I know she has a lot going on, so I would have never, ever asked her. Well, uh, And they did, and she said yes. So you guys have been friends me. for a, a long time. Here, here you are. Oh, that's Just Golden recently. Globes. Yeah, there that's you go. Golden Globes. Yeah. They're the buddies. They're the buddies. But I love this photograph. What year are we talk? What year are we talking here? You're just mean. No. I, oh, why am I mean? It's beautiful. Look at this shot. Look at the two of them together. Right See there. See the laughter? Yeah. Oh, 
old, I mean, long time. Not yes, old, but yeah. long time no, friends. No, long time. So that's probably 1976, and the little dog there, yeah. she gave the dog to me. So that, that, was, that was Oliver, and she was moving. Where is this? This what, is in Baltimore. Baltimore. We were both okay. working at a Baltimore TV station. I didn't like the name Oliver, so when I took the dog, I named him Christopher. So that's Christopher. <laughs> No, I know one of the things you do as editor at large at uh, Oh the Oprah oh, Magazine yeah, yeah, is you yeah. do the uh, what's it called? It's our favorite thing. Favorite things every year. It's okay, coming up. Okay, when do we when do we get the favorite things? In November. We're and almost I, voting November now. Can you give us a hint on any of the favorites? Do you know, Stephen? Three people came to me from the magazine and said, under no circumstances can you discuss it with Stephen Colbert. And I said, why? <laughs> Well, they said, let's move some And they specifically here. said, Stephen Colbert, because hey. it's not out yet. It's not out till the first week of November. And they said, it's not fair to talk about things that people can't get. I'll tell you what. I'll just you should, tell, I'll you tell you guys, so it's really good. You should put this on there. You should put this. You should put what whose vote is this vote? <laughs> Comments that have been the aftermath of the hurricane. We're selling this. It's the number one, number two book on Amazon right now. All the pro proceeds from this, Simon & Schuster book. We made it up. It's all words by Who's Donald Trump. Boat? Whose boat is his boat? It's all things he said down in North hey, Carolina. Which is all perfect. the money goes to hurricane relief. Look, favorite I like that. thing. I like that. It's a book. And did I hear and you say Amazon? Because we have a deal with Amazon. This could work out very nicely. Oh, it could work out huge. Work okay. Out very nicely. Yeah. I say, don't make it look like I like people more than you and Oprah do. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Just saying. Well, uh, lovely to see you. Thank As you, Stephen. always, thank, thank you, for you being so much here. for having me on. Hey, and I hear Andrea Bucelli is coming out with he his son. He is. He's going to sing. Can I just? They say, are going to sing. Can I just say I interviewed them a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. When I heard this song between the two of them, the son is six six, by the way, six six, mm -hmm. twenty one years old. When I heard this song, when uh, John, wait to hear the song. I wanted to weep. It's so beautiful. When you see what the two of them do together, it's it's magic. So I'm so glad you guys get to hear it. Well, it's I want magic. to weep. I want to weep too. No, I'm not heard kidding. It. So Thank lovely you. to see you. Thank, Thank you for Thank being you. here. Thank you so you much. You can see her on CBS this morning, weekday mornings at seven, and co with prime time election coverage only. CBS. Gail King, everybody. We'll be right back.